name's Andy. I'm going to show you how easy it can be to uh, play the piano or to teach yourself to play the piano. Don't get me wrong, uh, it'll take many years of daily practice to reach any sort of a decent level of playing, but uh, getting started doesn't need to be as traumatic as it might seem. In fact, by the end of this video, you'll be playing some recognisable music on the piano. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find some notes on the keyboard, uh, how to find all of the notes on the keyboard, and how to play some basic chords. These will enable you to play more tunes than you can imagine. So, let's get down to it. The notes. If you have a full-sized piano keyboard, you'll see that there are 88 keys, black and white keys. Um, some electronic keyboards will have significantly less, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it isn't actually as complicated as it seems. The keys are actually made up in groups of 12 notes, repeating groups of 12 notes. The notes are named A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Then it goes back to A again, A and so on, B, C, D, etc. The simplest key to play in, in the, on the piano is the key of C. This uses just the white notes, none of the black notes. Now, uh, there are several C's on the piano keyboard. If you look at the keyboard, you'll see it's made up of groups of three and two. The black notes are made up of groups of three and two. Uh, so, if you take one of the groups of two, any of the groups of two, look immediately to the left of uh, the first black note, and that's your C, is C. There's another group of two here, and immediately to the left is another C. And here's another one up here. The C in the centre of the piano, this one here, um, is known as middle C for obvious reasons. On some MIDI keyboards or MIDI software, it's sometimes referred to as C3. This will be our starting point for the scale of C major. Playing only the white keys, uh, the notes will be named as follows. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We can start here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The black notes, these are the sharps and flats. Now a sharp note is a semitone or half a note higher than the note of its name. So C sharp is the black note just to the right of the C. Here's the C, and here is the C sharp. F sharp for instance, here's the F, C, D, E, F, and the F sharp is the note just to the right of the F, F sharp here. A flat note is the opposite, it's half a tone or a semitone lower than the note's name. So here we have A for example, and one semitone lower, or the black note just to the left, is A flat. Here's B, and one semitone to the lower, or the black note to the left, is B flat. You'll notice that some notes uh, can be flat or sharp. F for example has this note here is F sharp, but it could also be G flat. Here's the G, G flat, here's the F, F sharp. They're called the same, it's the same note. So now you know the names of all of the notes on the piano. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, and C. So now you know how to play all of the notes on the piano, let's get on to playing some chords. The typical chord contains three or four different notes all played together. Now there are several types of chord that you can play around any given note. For example, around the note of C, we could have C major, C minor, C7, um, C9, C major 7, uh, C augmented, a diminished, C with a suspended fourth. There are many more as well. The three most popular types of chords are the major, the minor, and the seventh. If you know these three types of chords along each of the 12 notes of the keyboard, then you'll be able to play most music, most songs, uh, either by ear or by reading chord sheets or the so-called uh, fake books. Okay. Here's how to play the most often used basic chords. 
first of all, C or C major. The uh, notes of the chord are made up of the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale. So if we see the scale is C, D, E, F, G, we have C, miss one E, miss one G. C, we don't play the second, we play the third, we don't play the fourth, and we play the fifth. C, E, and G. Those are the notes of C major. Here's another one. This is A minor. We find the A, which is here, that's two notes lower. So the whole thing gets shifted down two notes. A, we miss the B, we play the C, which is the third, we miss the D, and we play the E, which is the fifth. A minor. Here's another one. Um, F major, two notes down, is the F. F, A and C, exactly the same chord pattern. First, third and fifth. There we go. And one more. Guess what? Move everything up one note and we get the chord of G. G, B, D. G is the first, B is the third and D is the fifth. So, there are four basic chords there, all with the same shape. We can play C, A minor, F major, and G major. You might recognize that chord sequence. It's actually been used in, in many songs. Blue Moon, for example. Always look on the bright side of life. Dream, dream, dream. Well, many songs have used these, uh, this combination of chords. You can play the chord here, and you can join in with the left hand. With the left hand, you can play the root note. In this case, the chord of C. We play a note of C. Uh, the chord of F. You play the root of C, of F, sorry. And you can add a little bit of rhythm. So you should play around with these chords. They can be played in any order you want. Um, and, and you'll find that there are many tunes which use just a few of these chords uh, in, in different orders. Okay, I'm just taking you in a matter of minutes through what would be the first few lessons of the typical online or home study course. It should have shown you how simple it can be to teach yourself how to play the piano and to be playing decent music within a few minutes. Um, obviously we covered a lot of material there and you will if you have a home, home study course, progress at your own pace. Um, now, at our website, the address should be down there somewhere, um, beginnerspiano.net, that's .net, not .com, beginnerspiano.net, um, we have some reviews of the best methods that I've come across for learning piano or keyboards at home. Now, these methods typically consist of, uh, well, it's like a true multimedia experience, really. They've got a combination of audio and video, together with transcripts and PDF files of the lessons all, all laid out so you can go on at your own pace. They'll teach you how to play by ear. They'll teach you how to play chords and melodies right from the start. Uh, and they'll even teach you how to read music along the way. Some of them even touch on classical playing. They'll take you from absolute beginner's level to advanced style. And in fact, all styles, uh, rock and roll, jazz, blues, pop, gospel, uh, they're actually quite complete, the ones that we review on the site. So for more information, do check out our website, beginnerspiano.net. Uh, check out the reviews. Go to the sites that we review, because some of them offer free lessons as well, which is quite interesting. And, uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction and uh, you decide to pursue piano playing a little bit further and buy one of the courses that we review on our site. Okay. Till next time, bye.